Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm here at the bottom of the City of Tears and uh, I'm going to head down into the Ancient Basin. So the entrance is just through here. Uh, I need to drop down here. Um, just avoiding the enemies as I go. If I can. Okay, so here's an looks like an old lift which has been uh, broken. There is a little secret over here, and uh, one of these dream trees as well. Um, I can't really be bothered going up and collecting everything. I'll collect a few. I'll collect uh, enough to get to uh, to 500. How about that? 497. I think I need a couple more. Not sure I can get up there actually. Let's just um, grab these two. That'll do. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to head across now to uh, the ancient basin. I think there's a wanderer's journal down here as well somewhere. Let me go and have a look. Oh, no, I'm too low. Too low. Too high, I should say. There we go. That should do it. Oh, jump, jump. No. <laughs> too low. But uh, we made it across. Uh, there is a little uh, Wanderer's Journal here, so I'm going to grab that and uh, just zip across again. And need to make my way across a fairly difficult uh, area here, avoiding the, uh, the sentries. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this leads down to the uh, ancient basin. Uh, there is a tram here. Uh, we can drop down here or, well, let's have a quick look. What is this? Uh, a mechanism with a slot for some kind of pass. I don't have the pass yet. Um, actually, I want to head across to the other section of the tram over here, uh, first of all. Now, there is a little hole here. There's just a few little pickups that I want to grab. There's a grub, and uh, very importantly, a second ore down here. Well, another pale ore. Um, these guys are not all that easy to deal with. There we go. Um, I can't actually drop down there. The the grub is down there, but I don't have any uh, spirit left, so I will have to... Oh, these guys have got a long slash. Just die, would you? Just die. I'm just gonna... Just going to... Um, <laughs> just going to tank. There we go. Um, I've got a little bit here, so let's go down and use the, uh, the, the desolate dive here and just break through that. Gosh. Alright, let's rescue rescue a little grub and uh, go and pick up the, the pale ore. Actually, can I get the pale ore without... I think I can. I just wasn't sure if I needed the, the monarch wings. But um, I think I'm... Um, Okay, here we go. Pale ore, fantastic. So I need two more for the uh, for the third upgrade, and uh, two thousand geo as well. So that's going to be fairly expensive.
Okay, so we're back out again, rescued the grub, picked up the uh, the pale ore. Now I'm just going to head back up here and down to find the map maker. First of all, this is a fairly small area as well, so it shouldn't take too long to uh, to go through this area. Nothing over here. There's uh, let's have a look. Down here is uh, a fountain. <laughs> Okay, so we can drop our geo into the fountain. I'm not going to do this right now. I do need a 3,000 geo. Uh, if I if I have 3,000 geo, then I will get a mask shard. So I'll have to come back for that. Um, for now, let's just go and visit the the map maker here, Cornifer, and he's selling maps this time for 112. So let's purchase purchase a little map here. Have a quick look. Uh, there's a palace down to the bottom, which I won't be able to reach just yet. Um, yeah, the palace is over here. I need the monarch wings before I can uh, reach that. Down here is access to the abyss, and I will need the king's, um, the king's branding before I can um, enter through this door here. But let's have a look at this mirror. Um, so yeah, I can't get through. I need that branding first of all, which is I think called the king's the king's uh, branding. Uh, we have a toll machine here for a bench, 150 geo. I do want this. Uh, I do want to grab this bench because uh, there's a boss fight coming up. There we go. Gives me the chance to heal up as well. So I'm just going to do the super dash across these spikes. There is a large geo cluster there. I'm not going to worry about it though. And uh, there's another grub up here which I'll pick up pick later. Uh, pick up later because I don't have the uh, the monarch wings just yet. Uh, which path do I want to take? Uh, there is a simple key down here, so I may as well pick this one up first. Oh, I do want that geo cluster there, though. May as well pick up that one. Oops, I forgot about those spikes. Uh, let's drop down here, just heal up a little bit. Uh, there's a few more of those giant creatures. One, The next one is on the roof, um, so I can't really do anything about him here. I'm just gonna, oh, dash through. There we go. It's not, not too difficult to, to take out. Didn't quite work as I planned. That's okay. Um, now I'm going to drop down first of all, pick up the simple key. And then my, make my way back up uh, a little bit higher and then we're going to take on the uh, the boss, the, uh, the lost something or other, the lost kin I think he's called. Um, I do want some uh, spirit for this boss fight because it is going to be a little bit difficult, and it's good to uh, good to use the desolate dive on the next boss. There we go. Gives me a little bit of spirit there. Oops, just, just ran straight into that one, didn't I? I think there's another one around here as well. There we go.
Okay, boss fight, here we go. Let's get ready for a, a fight with the Lost Kin. Broken Vessel, actually, is, is his name. That Desolate Dive works pretty well against uh, this boss. So let's go through and uh, pick up the uh, the Monarch Wings uh, just over here. Okay, so we now have a little uh, butterfly jump. Uh, we can tap the wings, which effectively gives us a double jump, so we can get to a lot of new areas that we couldn't get to before. can uh, use the Dream Nail on the Broken Vessel to fight the Lost Kin. Uh, it's quite a tough boss battle though, so I'm going to leave that for now. Once I have the, uh, the third upgrade, I, I might come back and uh, do that boss fight. For now, I'm just going to head over here, pick up the Grub, um, have a look at the, uh, the Temple, which we couldn't get to as well, and I think that's pretty much it for this area. Let's go and uh, rescue this Grub first of all. Did not work. Let's try that again. It's quite a, a tricky little jump here. Oop. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, five hours later, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Okay, grub, oh, grub rescued. Forgot about that little uh, fire creature there as well. Maybe I should kill it just to get some, a little bit of spirit back. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna head back the way I came and head across now to um, another jump that I couldn't make, and that leads to the uh, the palace grounds. I do need to do a super dash across this area here. And take a little rest at the bench. There we go. Fantastic. The map has been oh, map has been updated. Can I have a quick look at the map? Yeah, it's just the palace grounds that I need to explore, and then that is it for this area. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the Palace Grounds, a corpse in white armor. We can't dream now this to fight him, so we're going to have to wait before we can enter the uh, the Palace Grounds. There is a secret over here. Um, at the very eastern edge. This leads to a secret stag station. That's an expensive bench there, 300. I may as well unlock it so that I can uh, rest and save my game here. Oh no, that's not the, uh, there's no bench here, is there? Uh, there is a little stag though, so let's have a chat with him. Oh, there's a bench on this side. Yeah, I thought there was a bench over here. So I'm just going to save the game here. Thanks for watching. That is the Ancient Basin. I'll be back uh, very soon for the next video.